Hey everybody, welcome back to X-Plane 11. I am Bill, and today we are at SeaTac Airport, south of Seattle, and I am in the Zebo Mod 737. So the, for those of you that don't know what the Zebo Mod is, it's the skin, it's essentially the default 737, but it's been tweaked and tuned up, I guess. So um, it's just added a lot more functionality to the actual plane. Um, I've got the um, Alaska livery on here as well. That's a separate download. Um, but Alaska flies out of SeaTac a lot, so I wanted to throw that livery on there. Um, if we head inside, this is where um, the functionality is really seen. Um, if you can hear in the background there, I don't know how the volume sounds on your end, but I've also added, uh, I believe it's Soundbird Sound Pack, and it adds a crazy level of immersion to the, f the flight in the plane, um, having flight attendants and passengers talking. Um, if you hit the seatbelt sign, the flight attendant will give a seatbelt announcement. Uh, it's pretty sweet. So what I'm going to do is literally just start this plane using the checklist provided with the download. It's a little bit hard to follow because it's just a text doc um, and it's not, it's got a bunch of, um, uh, I don't even know what you'd call them, but uh, code, it looks like kind of code um, for each one of the uh, items that you have to press. If that makes any sense, probably not. But anyway, so I'm going to go through the starting procedure. Um, kind of pared down. I still have not been able to figure out the FMC on this, which is different than the default 737s, which seems to be pretty pared down in its functionality. This has a lot more functionality to it, but I haven't been able to really figure out how to get it to fully work. Um, so I'm, I'm going to use the uh, like a really general flight plan and not not do too much on that and really kind of focus on actually getting the plane started so the first thing is um, kind of a weird thing and is not included in the uh, pre-flight checklist um, at least enough to go off of I haven't been I, I didn't get it wasn't able to get it work to work um, using that checklist, but it has to do with this screen right here, which is the navigation screen, and if you go up here, the IRS display. So this is, from what I understand, the um, the, the system that tracks the plane's actual GPS location, and there's a certain way to configure this after startup that allows you to see the actual GPS um, come up here. So wh when you type in your flight plan, you'll actually see it come up here. So it's a little bit goofy, um, and I will be doing that slightly out of order just because that's kind of how I learned it. Okay, so first thing, and try it. Again, I don't know how good the sound is going to be, but even the clicks and the, the sound effects... Um, when you click various switches is excellent. It's so cool. So first battery on Sounds so awesome. We're gonna close that standby power. We're gonna go to auto gonna close that and I'm gonna go into the FMC here. We're gonna go to extras other align time. We're gonna do short uh, wheel chocks, I'm going to put those off while we're on here now, and we're going to go back, and then we're going to go up here, and switch these over to nav, each one goes to nav, and this goes to heading STS, and it's going to show one right there. So these go to align, go back into the FMC and go to menu FMC and we're going to go to position initiate and reference airport is going to be 
K S E A. Oh shoot, I got it. K S E A. Okay, there it is. Reference airport. Um, gate. I don't remember what gate it is, but that doesn't really matter. Um, once we put in K S E A, and the the keyboard doesn't work. You have to click it in here. We're gonna go to page. We're gonna select this top one right here. It's gonna get pasted into here. We're gonna go previous page, set IRS position, and then it goes away. So then we go back up here. We can see that now there are two numbers in this display. And that means that it should have worked, which it did. So now whatever we put in here, we will see um, pop up here. Now, what I don't know how to do yet is get it to actually follow the GPS line. It's probably pretty simple, but I have, excuse me, <coughs> sorry, have not figured it out yet. So now that that is done, um, let's get the APU on. So I'm going to turn this on. Hold that down for three seconds. It's a little bit longer. We could probably put ground power on too. Okay, so now I'm gonna g I'm gonna go by the checklist. Okay, so we did the IRA IRS alignment. Um, I'm gonna skip some of this stuff. So there's a lot of crew management stuff actually that um, you can do, which is kind of cool. So inter um, service inner phone. Um, that should be switched to off. EEC, those should be on with the guards closed. Uh, ELT switch is supposed to be off. And I, does that say off? I don't know. Okay. So it says it's supposed to be off, but we've got armed or on. We don't have a, We don't have off. Um, crew oxygen, check that. That looks okay. Uh, passenger oxygen switch to normal, which it is. Uh, landing gear indicator three green. Stall warning one. Stall warning two. Okay. So then we go into this stuff. And we're going to go to index. And we already did the position, so that's, that's in there. Performance. So gross weight, you click that and it goes in. I don't even know what how much fuel I've got in here. Um, we're, I'm actually not going to do a flight, but let's just do let's just put in three two zero as a flight as a cruise altitude um, reserves. These are just I'm just guessing on this stuff. Reserves five cost index ninety nine transition altitude and one. N1 limits, uh, gonna click both of these. That's okay. Takeoff, uh, flaps are gonna be at five on takeoff. Gives us the V-ref speed, so we're gonna put all those in there. Um, V2 plus five is gonna be our takeoff speed, so what is that? 162 is gonna be dialed into here. I have no idea if any of this is correct, but it's what I'm doing. Um, okay, so runway, we're going to take off from 16 center. And it doesn't let me do that. Oh, center of gravity. Center of gravity, I think, is set to 19. So put that percentage in there, and I don't know why it does that. There's some things that it does that I just don't get. So trim is 6.15, so that's going to be there probably. I don't know why it took those those out. I don't, don't know if you even need to do that. So just verify take on speeds. Not gonna work. Nope, not gonna work. 
Okay, so that is kind of weird, but let's go to route. And let's just go, let's put it in for uh, San Francisco. That's a pretty typical flight. Company route, don't need that. Let's put in, see if one way will work here. Okay. Flight number, what are we? Alaska. Let's do one, two, three. Unnecessary, but we can put it in there. Uh, plan fuel, I don't know how to do that. Winds, I also don't know how to do that. Max speed. In one limit. Did that take off? Did that is it gonna me? See, I don't like. I don't know why now it's letting me do that, but it is. Okay, so departure. I'm just gonna do the departure, and I'm gonna do because we're flying to the south, and we're gonna be going from 16 center, and Mountain Seven is gonna be the one that I'm gonna use. Execute that. That's good. Uh, I don't know if arrival really matters too much. I'm going to just leave that out. Climb, cruise. It's windy. It's been really, really windy today, so this should be an interesting takeoff. So, okay, so all of that looks fine, at least to get us up in the air. Um, we don't have any holds, I don't think. Yeah, that looks pretty simple. Um, okay. So that should be good. I'm just going to check my OBS and make sure we're still recording. We're good. Okay. Um, departure page, legs page. Okay, so we did all the FMC stuff to the to at least where I want to or am able to. A lot of the stuff I don't know how to do. Okay, yaw damper on. Um, alternate flaps position is going to be off. Um, that's up here, so that's that's off. Um, FMC display display panel. So some of that display panel stuff, I'm not sure. Fuel panel, cross feed selector closed. Fuel pumps off. Did all that. Overhead panel test switch. We're not going to do any of that. We're not going to do extinguisher tests. Um, cabin utility power switch on. That's right here, so click that on. Um, IFE passenger seat power, that's going to be on as well. APU starts, already did that, so let's hold for three seconds. APU generator, those are going to be on. Both of those are on. Ground power disconnect, disconnect that. Equipment cooling switch is normal. Emergency exit light switched arm, that's here, so those are on, just close that. Seatbelt sign on auto or on, Let's see if you can listen to the stewardess. <laughs> Love that. Okay, so we're going to put it in auto right now. Seatbelt sign on it, windshield wiper selector, or I don't even, that's in park, okay. Uh, window heat power, so we're going to do window heats on all these. Those are on, heat probes, probe heats are on. Um, wing ice off, engine anti-ice off. Okay, hydraulic panels. Engine hydraulic pumps are going to be on, engine one, engine two, those are on. Hydraulic, electric hydraulic pumps off. Air conditioning panel, those, that's like all this stuff here. Those are all fine. Um, I think. These are all on auto, yeah. So those are auto. Air temperature source selected as needed. Trim, trim air switch on. That's on. Um, temperature selectors as needed. Recirc fans are on. Auto, that's those ones. Those are on auto. Um, air conditioning pack, isolation valve switch 
open. That's that one. Engine bleed switches on. I think that's these ones, right? Yeah. Okay. Cabin air pressure panel flight altitude indicator. So this is going to be. What do we have? Thirty-two thousand for our fake one. This we're going to leave the landing altitude alone. I want to check the altitude of San Francisco. Uh, landing light panel. So let's put retract and off. Runway light switch off. Okay, engine start switches on auto anti clicks. Okay, so it's saying that all these are off right now at this point, but let's turn on all these. Um, those are all as needed too, and we need them, kind of. Okay, pre flight mode control panel, course set, flight directors on. Okay, so this is all um, right here, so flight directors are going to be on. Um, heading, we're going to be flying out of runway 160. I don't know the actual heading, but we're just going to leave that as is. This, is, this would be set to 10,000. 162, that's fine. Um, okay, so if we wanted, if we had the ATIS, we would change that with uh, where is it? with this one. Okay, OBS just crashed, but luckily I caught it in time, so hopefully it is relatively seamless. Um, so the uh, barometric pressure, I'm not going to screw with that. Um, weather radar, we don't have that. Um, so this is, it's, the checklist is telling me to check all this stuff, which we don't really we don't need here. I just want to get the plane up in the air. Um, okay, master lights. Don't know what that is. F ground proximity panel. Flat inhibit switch guard closed. Gear inhibit switch guard closed. Terrain inhibit switch guard closed. Landing gear panel. Landing gear, landing gear lever down. Auto brake selected to RTO. Engine speed control display panel, N1 set selector. Right. Here, what does it say? N1 select to auto. Okay, that's set in auto. Speed reference selector select to auto. And fuel flow switch reset. Radio panel, communications, don't need to do that. Before starting procedure. Before start, CDA display set, N1 bugs, check, AIS bugs, check. I don't know what that means. Um, auto throttle arm. Mock set to V2. LNAV is needed. VNAV. Initial heading set. Okay, blah blah blah. Okay, taxi. Okay, so fuel pumps. Let's get over to this. Oh, not that one, yeah. Fuel pumps left and right. Those are good. And electric hydraulic pumps. Put those on. Should be good. And we can check that by going to system, and we can see that those are now moving, so we do have hydraulic pressure. That is a good sign. Um, okay, collision lights on. We got that. Stabilizer trim is set. Yep, we did that. Aileron check. We just did that. Push back and start engine procedure. Okay, so let's go to. Here, we'll go to our ground setting and we're going to push back to the right. And the cart is luckily right here. Oh, that's pixelated as crap. Here's our pushback, looks good. And we can see the APU sound is going as we get behind there. 
Okay, so as we're pushing back. That. Looks good. Okay, so let's get engine one started. And let's get back to engine here. So I've had trouble with this in, in the past where it was really not responding and looks like it's doing that again so let's see what okay so that the hydraulic pumps in the engine are showing low before I did this I reset those and it seemed to work and it's not doing it now And my power auto, those are good. Battery, maybe if I go to AP Gen. I'm missing something here. No life. Yeah, not a thing. Damn. PD, let me turn that on. I did miss that. That is possibly possibly an issue. Alright, let's see if that did anything. One. Just give it a second, see if there's any life. No. It's not doing a thing. Okay. The low, low pressure. Engine hydraulics. Yeah, before it seemed like some of the problems were stemming from the power. And as soon as I started screwing with this thing, I just clicked them down and it was kind of reset, but those are definitely showing low pressure. Clicked enough buttons and see if that does anything. One. Oh, Air conditioning packs off. Air conditioning packs. I did miss that. Transponders need the air conditioning packs off. Engine one. There it goes. That's what it was. Okay, so once this hits 25, there's a ton of bass coming <laughs> on the left, left side of the headphones right now. Uh, frustrating, but I got there. I'm glad I skip the one part of the checklist. Okay, so there's 25, put in the fuel. Let's check the progress. Look at that. Humming away. Man, this plane looks really awesome. Okay, cool. So now the engine one is going. Let's get engine two turning. 
alive. Sixteen. As soon as we hit twenty-five. Okay, so we are good. Uh, electric hydraulic pumps are on, taxi engine generators on, probe heat switches on, anti ice, APU bleed switches, air conditioning packs. Okay, so air conditioning packs go to auto, isolation switches to. Isolation switch auto. Uh, it just goes up one. Okay. Pressurize, pressurization selector auto. There. APU bleed off. APU switch off. Engine start switches continue. Trim. Uh, okay, trim we already did, flaps we're going to do five, so those are going to be coming down now. Flight controls check. Parking brake release, I hate to say that it wasn't actually on. And we can taxi. Fuel and electric, those aren't important. Sounds are amazing in this plane. Okay, so we are going to taxi via Bravo and cut off this Gulf Stream. Taxi via Bravo to the end here. I can't remember what the turnoff is. Charlie, I think. And we're going to cross 16 left onto 16 center. And then punch it. Well, so far, so good. Um, I've started this plane three times, I believe. That time was a little bit smoother than the, than the first three, so it really just takes some time and actually using the checklists. Um, I, you know, I just missed that one thing, the air conditioning packs needed to be off, <laughs> otherwise the engine was not going to start. And that's an important part of this. too bad of a taxi. Okay, we're going to go, um, I think that's Delta. Go to Charlie at the end here. Slow it down. Ground, I, the POTUS setup I have is really not good for ground physics on this. at the windsock it's so windy and this this is the real world weather right now it's crazy this is not gonna have any problems taking off okay so I'm going to line up and hold the 
engine noises sound so much better than the default X-Plane sounds. If you fly the 737 at all, I highly recommend the sound pack. That was a really sloppy turn. Yeah, that kind of sucks. You just do a double check of OBS. Good. Okay, so the other thing, um, okay, we're gonna turn the taxi light off. And the runway light's on. Awesome freaking plane. That is so cool. And look at that wind. So we do have a crosswind component. It's not crazy, but it is, it is there. Um, Weather radar, heading bugs, set, everything looks okay. Okay, so everything looks good. Now this is something that I didn't know existed, but it is very cool. So parking brake is off. And this button right here is the takeoff power button. And it says MIC. I don't know what that means, but if you click it, you go into takeoff power and it's freaking sweet so let's let her rip listen to those engines at this point if you're not in your seats you're screwed There's 100. Coming up on N1. V1. V1, sorry. And there is V2. Rotate. Whoa, big crosswind. Okay, gear up. So this is this is definitely where my knowledge starts to really suck. Just figuring this out. So it's it's doing its its thing, but and it even goes up to the 250 speed limit. You can see there um, under 10,000 feet. So it's doing something, but. I I don't know what it's actually doing. I can't get it to complete the the actual uh, flight and stay on the the, uh, the GPS path. So I've got some work to do to learn that. Let's check out the view from the outside as we climb up through this windy Seattle Bay. You can see it's getting tossed around there pretty good. We have the ortho, but it is screwed up and is over all the um, procedurally generated roads and buildings and everything, so it's just the skin. Looks kind of jank, but at altitude, it looks cool. And that is just gorgeous. Zebo Mod 737. Highly recommend this plane. Highly recommend the sound pack. It's phenomenal. It really makes it makes it way more challenging, but way more rewarding to to fly this plane. Um, it makes you feel like you're really you're doing it for for reals. For reals, yo. What's up? And I don't think you can put this in the lock or off position until you're at that cruising, but. So yeah, that's um, that is my go through the checklist. Um, probably not 
by the book. Probably not 100% um, correct, and especially this stuff. I really screwed that one up, but um, yeah, I don't know. It's it seems to be doing something. Let's get SFO is up there. So who knows? I'll continue to work on that. Um, maybe not as much as my general aviation stuff. This is just kind of fun, fun to do, but. Um, that's as much as I wanted to do on this. I only had one OBS hiccup and one uh, air conditioning screw up on the checklist. So we are on our way up to cruising altitude, punching through one cloud layer onto the next. And yeah, that's about it. All right, guys, well, thank you for watching. Again, if you like this video, uh, click thumbs up comment let me know if you want to see more um it, it's so much fun making these videos and showing you guys um you know my process of learning some of this stuff so if there's something that you enjoy seeing more than something else let me know uh, the thumbs up helps me figure that out it's an easy way to do it um if you haven't subscribed already subscribe i try to do these as regularly as i can um, I will probably be picking up on the, the pace of them pretty soon as well. I will be moving here shortly, which is going to put a damper on it for a little bit. But once the move is, is done, it should be a little bit more regular. Um, but yeah, it helps out, guys. So subscribe, thumbs up, let me know what you think. Uh, let me know what I did wrong. If you have any ideas on how the FMC works, that would definitely help me out as well. So... This is kind of a lame place to stop going through this cloud layer, though. Tempted just to hang on for a little bit. Helping getting through the suit as it's stuck at 9900. So, this is where I don't understand what's going on. So, it should, should be. It's not climbing over. We're holding there. Alright. Well, there you go, anyway. We're at least out of the, out of the suit in the world. Okay, so there you go, guys. Thanks for watching again. Um, oh, you know what? No, not done yet. I almost forgot. Let's let's take a look at this, and then we'll be done. And then I'll I'll say goodbye for the third time. Those engines sound freaking awesome spooled up. That crosswind was, it felt worse than I thought it was going to be when I first hit that rotation. Let's see what it looks like from out here. Yeah, look at that. Wow. It's like immediately fighting it.
Okay. Well, that will actually do it this time, guys. So, again, thumbs up, subscribe, all that standard YouTube stuff. And look forward to making another one of these for you. Take care.